Hi, this is Adam. This is another Eye on North Carolina blog. We are here in Hillsboro, North Carolina at the Maple View Farm. This is a huge, huge farm, 400 acres. It's a dairy farm, so there is an ice cream shop here. It opened in 2001 and it has 400 acres. I am here with the founder, Bob, who's going to tell us more about his wonderful farm. Bob, it's a pleasure. Well, thank you. So tell us more about the farm and how you got started and uh, how are you doing today with it? Well, I, uh, I was living in Maine, born there, and lived there for the first 35 years of my life. And then uh, I got tired of shoveling snow and I told my dad, I said, I think there's a better place to be in the dairy business. So uh, we sold all the milk cows and red heifers and started south looking for a farm. And uh, this is the farm that we found that we liked, that we bought, and, uh, and we started milking cows here August 1st, 1963. Wow. We've been here for 50 years, and there's been a cow milked every day since, uh, since that time. Wow. And do you ship the milk to different markets? We, we, well, for years we just sent it to the co-op, but uh, uh, got to where that wasn't profitable. And so we had to make a change. We had a choice. We could, we could sell out like most everybody else did. But uh, I, uh, I talked to my son. Uh, he had already left the farm. And uh, he was building houses and so forth. And, uh, and I asked him if we decided to borrow milk, would he be, be interested in coming back to work at that? And he thought about it about a month. and. He came back and he said he and his sister would both like to come back. His sister nice. worked for Walmart. She had a business management degree, and, and uh, so uh, they came back and built the uh, the processing plant, and uh, and we bought all the machinery from a man in Pennsylvania, and uh, and, and uh, built the building to put it in, and started bottling the milk in uh, in November. 11th of uh, 96. Wow. And, uh, and that's been, been satisfactory. And how have you seen it change through the years? You've been here so long, I'm sure you've seen a lot well, of changes. Well, when we came here, we sold 10 heifers to a neighbor up the road, three miles. We drove them up the road, and the car never passed us, and we never met a car driving three, 10 heifers up the road. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Now you can't hardly drive across the road without waiting for traffic. Right, there's a lot of cars here, a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So, so can we check out the farm and see all the processes of making the milk, some cows? Well, uh, if you look at the bottom of it right here, we got about 400 acres. Uh, we got a little to over 200 acres of corn. That's a field of corn right there. This one over here is a field of corn. Try to raise enough corn for for a cow. We have to buy our protein and, and the mineral and so forth. But, uh, but we we tried. It. We didn't quite do it last year. We had to buy some, but not much. Great. Thank you, Bob, so much for giving us a little uh, well. Thank you information about it, and I can't wait to check out the farm. Okay. Thank you. take from the start after you milk the cow to right here how long does that take well we milk the milk this morning it's probably already here wow and here's chocolate milk huh? chocolate milk yeah, yeah, we chocolate milk. wow milk. good old chocolate milk They come down out of this pond, go through the milking parlor, and then come back.
So I'm here with Allison, who's going to tell us more about the farm. And Chief Executive Director at the Learning Center, nice. which is our nonprofit at the farm. And kind of explain more about the nonprofit center and what it does. Um, the Learning Center, we work with preschoolers all the way up to we have nursing homes that bring their residents out. So our oldest person for a tour was 101 years old. Wow. Um, we have two-year-olds all the way up. We have four classrooms that are hands-on learning labs, and they rotate every nine weeks. So if you come in the fall, it's a different program than the spring. Our one classroom that stays the same is the dairy science room because we are a dairy farm. Right. We have programs on pumpkins, all about apples, um, insects, plants, crops, nutrition, soil science, all that habitat, sustainable energy, recycling, composting. If it's related to agriculture and science, you have it. We have it. Yes, and you, you must love being over there with the kids. Though. Absolutely. Yeah. We do barnyard tours and hay rides, and we have a commercial garden and a solar project, and we even do hay rides with Santa. So there's something to nice. do over there. You're nice. Right. When are the hay ride? When's the next hay ride? I want to go on. The next hay ride. Um, all of our groups are appointment only, so you just call the number or visit our website, and we're glad to schedule tours. We can customize packages and get everything taken care of for you. Cool. Cool. Um, do you have weddings out here ever? Um, we've had people that use the facility for like a reception or a rehearsal dinner. We probably had two weddings actually that utilized the learning system. Mm -hmm. So I'm having the Carolina Crunch here. Uh oh, it's dripping. What's your favorite ice cream here? Right now, my favorite would be blackberry and raspberry. We keep things seasonal, so when right. things come in season and are fresh, so we've got some new exciting things for summer with blueberry and blackberry and raspberry. I have to get that next time. Uh, she recommended inside that I should get the Carolina Crunch. The Carolina Crunch? Crunch? It's yeah. one of our top sellers. Yeah. yeah that and the Devil's Delight. What is that? That well, sounds interesting. When we had Carolina Crunch, the people that were Duke fans wanted to see something that was Devil's Delight. So they're completely opposite, like both. Cool. Right. The right. Devil's Light is chocolate with the different candy bars in it, whereas that's a vanilla base. But we're just outside of Chapel Hill, don't you think? That? <laughs> don't you right. think that? So now our state friends state. come out are wanting their own ice cream. Are you going to get a state ice cream? Probably eventually. Um, when we have the ACC tournament and things like that, we do offer a state flavor, but we don't keep it year round. Right. Do you get any ball players or anyone coming in, coming by? Any? Uh huh. We have a lot of friends that stop by and pay us a visit, um, current as well as people that are now playing in the NBA. The girls had a visitor last, last week, didn't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Last Ooh. night. Tyler, did Tyler come last night too? Mm -hmm. oh, Tyler, Tyler came and, and, nice. like two days in a row and again last night. So he comes to visit us quite frequently. Nice. And then we do some off-site events for them as well. Do you have like a, a picture with uh, him and Bob up posted up? We don't have one of him and Bob. Um, we have a couple of him and the girls that are here, and then probably one of my favorite customers would be Dean Smith. Oh, I bet. Who um, was a root beer float fanatic. Oh, wow. Very nice gentleman. Uh, the farm is great, you know, um, and the ice cream is, is great. You guys should check out uh, Maple Leaf Farm. It is beautiful out here, just outside of Chapel Hill. And uh, Allison, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Come and back and visit us. Definitely, and I highly recommend everyone coming out here. It's summer. Get your ice cream. This is another Eye on North Carolina blog, and we'll see you all soon.